Good morning, this is Bob Mason from FX Empire and welcome to the daily crypto tech review of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin and Ripple's XRP. Looking at the MACDs, the moving averages and the day's support and resistance levels. This is Friday the 22nd of January. Jumping straight into Bitcoin against the US dollar, looking at the hourly candlesticks, particularly bearish start to the day here. Going to need to see Bitcoin move through the pivot at 32228 and the 23.6% FIB at 33,008 to take a run at the first major resistance level sitting at 34,260. Good need to see support from the broader market for Bitcoin to break out from that 23.6% FIB, however. So expect that first major resistance level and resistance at 34,500 to cap any upside. In the event of a rebound, could see Bitcoin test the second major resistance level at 37,648 before any pullback. Failure to move through the pivot would bring that first major support level sitting at 28,840 into play. Buying an extended sell off on the day, Bitcoin should avoid the 38.2% FIB at 27,465. Second major support level sits at 26,808 in, in the event of an extended sell off. Looking at the MACDs, we got a marked widening of the bearish histograms after yesterday's late failed bullish cross, supporting this early morning pullback. On the MAs, it's also bearish with the 50 pulling back from the 100 and the 200, signaling further downside through the morning. So failure to break through that pivot level at 32.228 and the 23.6% FIB at 33008 is going to keep these support levels in play on the day. Moving across to Ethereum against the US dollar, tracking the broader market, particularly bearish here, going to need to see Ethereum move through the pivot at 1194 to take a run at the first major resistance level, seeing at 1307. Going to need to see support from the broader market for Ethereum to break back through the 23.6% FIB at 1119, however. So buying an extended crypto rally on the day, Expect that first major resistance level to cap any upside. In the event of a rebound, could see Ethereum test resistance at 1400 before any pullback. Second major resistance level sits at 1503. Failure to move through the 23.6% FIB and the pivot would bring the first major support level sitting at 998 into play. Buying an extended sell off through the day, Ethereum should avoid the 38.2% FIB at 921 and the second major support level sitting at 885. Looking at the MACD, we've got a widening of the bearish histogram this morning, supporting this early pullback. On the EMAs, after yesterday's bearish cross of 50 through the 100, we're seeing the 50 narrow in on the 200 and widen the gap from the 100, signaling further downside ahead. So key through the early part of the day, moves back through the 23.6% FIB at 1%. 119 and through the pivot level at 1194 to then take a run at the major resistance levels. Failure to do that and support levels are in play. Looking at Litecoin against the US dollar, also bearish this morning. Gonna need to see Litecoin move back through the 38.2% FIB at 125 to then break through the pivot level at 135.17 to take a run at the first major resistance level, seeing it 144.93. Going to need to see support from the broader market for Litecoin's break back through to 140 levels. So barring an extended crypto rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level at 23.6% FIB at 148 to cap any upside. In the event of a broad-based crypto rebound, Litecoin could test the second major resistance level, seeing it 160.12. Failure to move through the 38.2% FIB and the pivot level at 135.17 would bring that first major support level at 119.98 into play. Buying an extended sell off through the day, Litecoin should stay clear of the second major support level, saying at 110.22. Looking at the MACD, we got a bearish cross late yesterday, early this morning, with a bearish histogram widening through the morning there. On the EMAs, we're also seeing the 50 EMA pull back from the 100 and the 200, signaling further downside through the morning. So, failure to move through the 38.2% FIB at 125 and the pivot level at 135.17 would leave support levels in play on the day. Finally, looking at Ripple's XRP against the US dollar, particularly 
bearish start to the morning here. We've seen Ripple's XRP slide through the first major support level at 0.2497 early in the day. So key through the early part of the morning would be to move back through that first major support level and break through the pivot at 0.2784 to take a run at the first major resistance level, so at 0.2968. Going to need to support from the broader market for Ripple's XRP to break back through to 0.29 levels. So barring extended crypto rally through the day, expect that first major resistance level to cap any upside. In the event of a broad-based crypto rebound, Ripple's XRP should break through the 23.6% FIB at 0.3172 to take a run at the second major resistance level at 0.3255. Failure to break back through the first major support level and move through the pivot at 0.2784 would bring the second major support level at 0.2313 into play. Barring an extended sell-off on the day, Ripple's XRP should steer clear of sub 0.23 support levels. Looking at the MACD, got a marked widening of the bearish histogram supporting this early sell-off on the EMAs. 50 has pulled away from the 100 and the 200, signaling further downside through the morning. So failure to move through that first major support level at 0.2497 would bring that second major support level at 0.2313 into play.